Professor Charles H. Tatter from the University of Toronto recently came to Algoma Public Health to speak to Sioux residents about concussion injuries. Well, the Algoma Public Health Unit here in Sault Ste. Marie invited me to come and uh, bring people information about concussion. And we're really trying to reach a wide audience, uh, including parents and teachers and coaches and referees and doctors and nurses. In other words, if we're really going to uh, manage concussions effectively, and if we're going to prevent concussions, it's going to take uh, an army of people to be involved. Well, concussions are very common. We probably are producing about 200,000 concussions a year in our country. And also, uh, a lot of young people are getting more than one concussion. And when the concussions are repetitive, sometimes they can produce permanent uh, problems, either headaches or dizziness or loss of memory, difficulty concentrating. So our young people going to school uh, can be impaired because of multiple concussions. Well, they happen in a variety of ways. You can get concussed in a motor vehicle crash or on a playground or riding your bike to school or, or an injury at work. So there are a lot of ways in which you can get concussed. But one of the ways in which repetitive concussions frequently occur are in sports and recreation, especially in collision sports like hockey and soccer and football, rugby, etc. Well, we want people who have had a concussion to see a doctor. That's one of the principles of management. And if there isn't a doctor in your area, then they should see uh, a nurse. Uh, and so that's very important to have medical attention soon after a concussion to follow guidelines for return to play and for return to learn. So, which really means a gradual reintroduction of both physical activity and mental activity. Kim Seabrook is the executive director for Safe Communities Partnership and helped bring Professor Tatter to Sault Ste. Marie. We've had the good fortune of working with some excellent professionals and concerned citizens within the community to uh, pull this workshop together and um, to really bring uh, local expertise to the table to assist uh, our community in understanding uh, prevention and management of concussion. I would recommend that uh, anyone who's concerned about injury prevention attend these workshops and you know, we hope to continue to have more similar and perhaps on, on different topics, but I have a feeling that we're going to see more on concussion in, in uh, the coming months. If you want more information on concussions and ways to prevent injuries, you can visit www.thinkfirst.ca. For Shaw TV, I'm David Carlasio.